Welcome back. We are here with another speed build and we are going to build a library today. It is not very big. It's only on a 20 by 30 lot, but I thought that it would be just a cute little area where there is, you know, places to study, places to read, and a little kids area along with a small community garden off of the side. So just a little hangout area for people in town. I just chose this random lot in um, Brindleton Bay, but of course you can put it anywhere. And I wanted to keep it fun and keep it cozy. And so I decided to use a lot of bright colors like this teal for the windows and the door there. And then like, you know, bright yellows and pinks and stuff just really cute and really cozy and definitely family friendly for anyone in the community. It is only one story and um, you know, there's a front entrance and a back entrance and just a little nook there at the end to put like, you know, so that people can overlook the garden area. And then these are the bathrooms out in the back here. So there is that, and yeah, so I'm just putting in all of the windows currently, trying to go all the way around, just put some in there, and then the roofing. And I chose the little like scoops for the roof, um, what do you call it, like roof? It's not paint, but like the tiles. So I thought that that was was cute. I thought it was fun. So we chose that. And then I did kind of use gray, like a light gray and then white as the neutral colors, but um, you'll see that in a second. So I am just putting in a foundation, a couple of stone steps up and then, you know, stone foundation. And then I'm going to make this um, section on the side, like the upper part of the T shape into um, yeah stone as well so that is going to be stone and then we're going to choose a paneling for the rest and I decided to go with this yellow I don't really know why I just like really wanted everything to be bright and cheerful and fun so that's the the style I went with this area in the front here is going to be the kids area with the big windows and then the study area is in the middle and then in the back there is the bathrooms and then the actual library area is going to be in this, you know, other section where the doors and stuff are. So there is that. And then the garden section is going to be on the side here. And I was just trying to pick out a fence. I actually do like this white one with the little plants on the end, but when I was looking for a gate and you know it is one of my biggest irritating things in um, build mode is that there aren't very many gates that go with the fences so I couldn't find a gate that really went with this fence and so I decided maybe I'll just go with the cats and dogs fence and use the same teal color as the front door and the windows so I decided to match that and then on the inside we have this uh, wallpaper with the wood on the bottom and then a yellow and then you know used some brighter colors for the kids room and then the uh, mountain wallpaper one of my favorites for the study area and then I just thought that it needed a decoration on top so I chose that tiny little chimney type thing yeah I think it's a chimney at the cover and then we are going to head inside to put in some lighting so we can actually see what we're doing while we build this. So little clouds for the kids area and some, um, I don't even know what those are, but I actually really like the movie hangout stuff as well. That is a fun one for um, you know decorations and stuff. So that's good. And then just little tiny lights to fill in some of the spaces because I don't think it's important to have these like big bright lights in between the bookshelves. And then we are going to move on to the front desk area. Now I wanted to use one of the retail counters, but it didn't, there's no really counters that match it. So 
Um, I did end up putting a half wall there instead, but I did choose this because I know Sims libraries don't have to have them, but in real life you have like an area to check out books. You have the desk to check out books at and, you know, renew your library card and all that stuff. So I wanted to include that in here somehow. And so that is what I'm going to do and then just put um, some white trim on these half walls. And then there's, you can't, how do you put doors into half walls? I don't know. I tried to put the arch into the half wall and it said no and I tried to put a gate into the half wall and it said no so I just ended up taking away that space and then putting a column there and I did have to do move objects on because it wouldn't stay so uh, we did just put that in there and then one on the other side of the room as well I was thinking about how many of these I wanted to use but I didn't really want to overdo it so just the three and then I guess there's no chairs that go with this usually librarians sit but I guess with retail like people in stores don't get to sit when they're working the register which is sad but true well in America anyway I really don't know about other countries but I am just going to put this other shelf over here because you know it's just going to contain like boxes supplies stuff that like librarians would need or you know books that have yet to be put away just stuff like that so I just put a little bit of clutter behind the desk here and then I totally get distracted by curtains because these are my favorite curtains in the whole game my total favorite curtains so um, I did decide to leave the original swatch just because it's super colorful and really fun and curtains hate me so I couldn't lay it down unless I changed my camera angle so we go for that and just put it in here before you know using some shades to cover up the bathroom windows because you know you're in the bathroom you don't want people to be able to peek in and then in the study room I didn't add any curtains in the kids area because I really wanted those windows to be big and open and you know just see to the out out front there and also you know just be like a fishbowl sorry kids so um <laughs> we are now looking for those clutter items to put on the shelf over here just random stuff stuff I thought that might kind of go so like piles of papers little boxes stuff like that some cleaning supplies because you know what they'll have to clean up around like you know the the desk the I don't know and it's COVID so it only makes sense that you would need to sanitize often a little bin full of things maybe a lost and found or something so there is that and then I wanted to put up some fun lights in the kids area as well before I forgot just as I was scrolling through decorations and then a chair in this area just because like you want the library to be able to sit down anyway not like anybody's gonna actually use this area in the sims probably but um, I just figured I would put it there anyway. And I really wanted to, I can't figure out how to freely rotate. I really can't because I tried all of the things that people say online, but I have a Mac and I don't have an external keyboard. So I just, I don't know. Anyway, that is a ongoing issue for me, but whatever. And now I am just going to put in some seating over here by this little nook and use that new end table for the um, from the paranormal stuff pack. I really like that end table. I actually wish that there was a teal swatch that went with this teal, which as you probably know is a thing in The Sims that none of the swatches match. And then just a few more seating things just to kind of you know, let them look out onto the garden and enjoy the view, enjoy the nature while reading a book. And then we are going to start putting in the bookshelves. So the actual library area is going to be over here up against this wall. And I am just going to make sure um, that the shelves are touching each other. I don't want that gap in between them. And um, then we are going to include the chess table because you apparently have to have a chess table in a library. Who knew? 
But um, I am going to add some more bookshelves besides that. But that is the book area over on that side. And then, uh, yes, so here we go. Adding in the other bookshelves. They did not line up. I had to fix that. So we're just going to squeeze those in. And that is going to pretty much wrap up the bookshelf area. We're just going to add a couple more in the study area over here with the desks. But there are plenty of bookcases in this. And I almost think of it more as a community space than a library. I mean, it is a library, but I feel like it would be a fun place to hang out, hang out with family, just kind of relax, you know, garden, just have the kids play, stuff like that. So... Um, this is going to be the study area. I'm going to put the desks back to back here. And there'll be four of them and computers so that your Sims can come here if they need a computer and you're doing like a rags to riches or something. And I think that that swatch doesn't quite match the lights, but I think it was, it was close enough for me. So then some decorations. Actually, this is really the only place where I have walls open. A lot of the walls... I put windows on and stuff, so not a ton of wall decorations in this build, but enough. So just adding in a cute little couch there and checking out what I need. So we're going to add a trash can and then head into the kids area. So I am going to first decorate this little patch of wall and put up some, you know, cute little pictures, some posters, some kids decals. So there is a that. And then we are going to use a couple of kids activity things. The cute little bear chairs. Love those. And then, oh my gosh, this bookshelf is literally my favorite. Is that a raccoon holding the bookshelf? It's so cute. Um, anyway, got distracted. So just some kids activity items, some things for them to play with, a crafting table, um, and a dollhouse oh my gosh I just need an excuse to use that crazy toddler thing like I need a toddler park I think is what I need so that can be later on the list but I just need an excuse to have one of those but we couldn't fit it in this build unfortunately and then we'll have two bathrooms one of them is a you know bathroom with stalls and one of them is a private single bathroom so this is the stall one with these mirrors here. Just going to put some soap dispensers and then um, some towel racks or like thing with towels on it. So, um, and then we're going to really squeeze to fit in these toilets. So it is only just fits, but um, we made it work. So, there is that, and then this bathroom, and I'm just going to put in, again, some supplies, you know, probably the librarians will need to clean the bathrooms every once in a while, or, I don't know, who cleans the bathrooms at a library? Maybe, like, a janitor? I I'm really not sure. Um, when I worked in retail, like, the cashiers and stuff were responsible for cleaning the bathrooms, too, so I don't really know. But anyway, it doesn't matter, because... Well, I guess Sims are going to have to clean the toilet and the sink every once in a while. Anyway, um, here is the garden space. Just putting that over there. And then, of course, a uh, woohoo bush because every community lot should have a place to woohoo. And just a little uh, monkey bar set for the kids to play on. And then the bee boxes and a little fire pit area for people to hang out at. So... I think that there's plenty to do on this lot and it is you know going to be a fun place for sims to hang out and they will not get bored here so that is good now i am just going in with the terrain paint literally all over the place around the fence around the build under the planters just everything just little tiny um you know road most traveled over here so I am just kind of making it more dirt in the places where Sims would go. The foot traffic rips up the grass. And then we are going to go into nighttime and put up some lighting. I didn't put up that much lighting because I don't feel like this is a build that you go to at night. Like, 
you don't go to hang out at the library at night. The library is closed usually. So I just put lighting around the doors in case, I don't know, maybe in the winter when it's really dark. So that is that. And that will pretty much wrap up our build. So we are going to head into screenshots in literally two seconds. Here we go. So these are the screenshots. I did have to take them in build mode um, because I did not move a sim to this lot, but we are just going to take a look. I think it's super colorful and super fun and it really came out well. And I'm really glad that it looks good. So you can see the study area, a little darker, but really fun, the kids area with the little puppet stage and then the bathrooms, not too exciting. But uh, the outside is fun too. So a little fire pit, little monkey bar thing and the garden. So here are some uh, sky views, like top down view. Is that what it's called? Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time.